Hello friends, why is vitamin D so important for your health? Vitamin D is not just for your bones to grow strong. Your immune system needs enough vitamin D to stay strong, to do all that guardian work to keep your fortress healthy. Vitamin D is so important that your immune cells, each of them literally have a VIP parking lot for vitamin D. We call it vitamin D receptors. And when you have enough vitamin D2 or D3 in the parking lot, each immune cell can turn it into active vitamin D. Vitamin D talks to your immune system in several ways. Vitamin D makes your immune cells smart so that they recognize germs from your own cells. And if your immune system can't tell the difference, it will let germs multiply or attack your normal cells cells. That's autoimmune disease. Moreover, vitamin D has been shown to decide how inflamed your body can get. Inflammation is normal, but too much is why you feel bad. And if you stay inflamed, that damages your body. Think of your immune system like a team of helpers that keep your fortress, your body safe. Your immune helpers work as police officers, trash collectors, cleaners, and repair workers, similar to what your home needs to be safe. And when your immune system does its job right, its work is invisible and you stay healthy even though it's fighting off bad germs, ridding the poisons you eat, drink, touch, or smell. When your immune health is struggling, you will see and feel it. You're tired, have poor skin health, you may have swelling and pain. Keeping you healthy takes a lot of effort. Just like keeping your city safe or making a movie, there's a lot of work that you don't see. Vitamin D helps keep this system in check and balance your immune reaction. Now here's a catch. Many people around the world suffer from vitamin D deficiency without even knowing it. And in the U.S., it is estimated 40 to 70% are deficient. If you spend less time outdoors, live in areas with limited sunlight, especially in winter, use sunblock or wear lots of clothes when you go out or are dark-skinned or over 65, you're not gonna make much vitamin D with sunlight. Remember, deficiency is not zero. It's like your bank account. You don't have to be zero to be bankrupt. You just need to spend more than you have. That's vitamin deficiency. Let's quickly recap what vitamin D is. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that's often referred to as a sunshine vitamin because your skin can reduce it when exposed to enough sunlight. You are deficient if you don't have enough for your body's needs. And vitamin D deficiency weakens your immune system, making you more susceptible to infections, illnesses, and autoimmune diseases, as well as bone loss. It's like having a weak gatekeeper at your fortress who allows invaders to breach the walls. And he doesn't tell you when your walls are collapsing and full of holes. Why take that chance when we have such an easy fix? And that is a good news. You can take steps to ensure you're getting enough vitamin D to support your immune system and your immune health. First, spend some time in the sun, about 10 to 30 minutes every morning of good sun exposure a few times a week, actually you should do it every day, can help your skin produce vitamin D. Sunblock and clothing will decrease your ability to make vitamin D. And unfortunately, there's a fine line between skin cancer and vitamin D production. Add vitamin D rich foods to your diet, such as fortified plant milks. If you eat animals, fatty fish, fortified dairy products, and egg yolks have vitamin D. Mushrooms are also a great source, but I find that most people need to supplement to reach an optimal level of at least 50 nanomoles per liter. Get your blood tested, or you're not gonna know how hard you have to work on your diet or how much you have to take in your supplement. And if you wanna learn more about how to pick supplements, check out the next video.